Earth is divided into four main layers. So these are the four layers you need to know about. First, we have the crust, which is the top layer. Then the mantle comes next. Then the outer core. And then the inner core is the center of Earth. Starting with the crust, the very top part, the crust is the rigid, rocky outer surface of the Earth, composed mostly of basalt and granite. Basalt and granite are types of igneous rocks. The crust is thinner under the oceans. So the ocean crust is thinner than the continental crust, the land crust. The Earth's crust is like a thin apple. It is very thin compared to the other three layers. So when you think about an apple, when you eat an apple, the thin outer part of the apple can be compared to the crust of the earth because the crust of the earth is much thinner than all the other layers. The crust of the earth is also broken into pieces we call tectonic plates. And that's kind of what the picture is representing on this page. The crust or the plates consist of two types of rock. The first one is continental crust, which is made of granite, which is a type of rock. And then oceanic crust, which is made of basalt. Another name for the crust is lithosphere. Make sure you know this word. Um, again, this is the crust of the earth, which is this is where we live. The thickness of the crust of the earth um, ranges from 7 to 70 kilometers. So 7 kilometers in the oceans up to 70 kilometers um, where mountains and thicker continental crust is. Um, our crust is made of cooled rock and its composition is formed from oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, and calcium. The mantle is the second layer. Um, it is a plastic-like rock layer located under the crust. The mantle is 2,900 kilometers deep. It is the thickest layer on Earth. The mantle consists of iron, oxygen, magnesium, aluminum, calcium, and silicon. Its temperature is 870 degrees Celsius to 2,200 degrees Celsius. So very, very hot. The mantle is divided into two regions, the upper mantle and the lower mantle. Inside the mantle, there is magma that moves in what we call convection currents, which is what causes the plates of the Earth to move or the crust of the Earth to move. That's actually what causes us to have earthquakes and to form mountains. The outer core is the third layer down. It is molten iron and nickel um, layer that surrounds the inner core. The outer core is liquid. Its temperature ranges from 2,200 degrees Celsius to 5,000 degrees Celsius. So it's hotter than the mantle. Its depth is 2,250 kilometers deep. The outer core is made up of iron and nickel, and it is very dense. The inner core is the center of Earth, and it is actually a solid iron and nickel center of Earth that is very hot and under a great deal of pressure. The inner core of Earth has temperatures and pressure so great that the metals are squeezed together and they are not able to move. The inner core is solid due to all of the extreme pressure of the other layers pressing down on it. It is made of mainly iron. It does have some nickel, but iron is um, more dominant in the inner core. It is the most dense layer, and it is the hottest layer. It is 5,000 degrees Celsius. The inner core is 1,300 kilometers deep. The layers of Earth, um, geologists believe that as the Earth cooled, the heavier, denser materials sank to the center and the lighter materials rose to the top of the Earth. 
Because of this, the crust is made of lighter materials or lighter rocks such as basalt and granite, and the core consists of heavier metals like iron and nickel. If you look at this diagram, it explains almost all of the layers of Earth, including the continental oceanic crust going down into the mantle with it flowing and out of core and the inner core. Whenever you're studying and preparing for what you need to know from the standard, remember the standard talked about the composition, the temperature, the depth, and also the density. So make sure that you are very familiar with each layer of the earth and the specific details, composition, temperature, depth, and density. As a review from this lesson to kind of test what you know, I have several questions and I want you to try to answer them out loud from memory just by going through the lesson. The first one is, what are the four layers of the earth? Number two, the Earth's crust is very blank. Number three, the mantle is the largest layer of the Earth. True or false? And number four, is the outer core a liquid or a solid? You should have answered each one of these questions to the best of your ability. Now let's check our answers. The four layers of the earth are the crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. And that is in order going from the top of the surface of the earth to the inside. The crust is very thin. It is our thinnest layer. The mantle is the largest layer of earth. It is the thickest or the largest. And the outer core is liquid. Remember we said it's liquid iron and nickel. Okay, make sure you are studying. Make sure that you complete your question section of your Cornell notes and your summarizer.